Okay guys, so far we have discussed about bindings from component to the template view or from the view to the component property. So the data flow was happening within the component. But sometimes a scenario would arise where we need to pass the data from the parent component to the child component or vice versa. So there is nothing but from our app component to the tutorial component or from the tutorial component to our app component. So for that, we make use of inputs and outputs. And that is what we are going to be learning in this video. So to get us started, I already have some HTML code typed out. So let me explain to you what we are doing. So our basic intention is we have our parent app component. So these three lines over here. And if I enter a value in my parent component, so parent data, I want this value to be displayed over here in our child component, so over here. And if I type in something over here in our child component, I want this to be displayed over here in our parent component. So what we have is a header tag with parent or app component, a label over here, input text box, and another paragraph that says value from the child component is. Now similarly for our child component, we have a header tag, <coughs> excuse me, a label, an input, and finally the value from the parent app component is. So if you go back to our code, we have the header tag over here, a label that says enter the value, an input, and finally a paragraph to display the value from child tutorial component is. And similarly in our tutorials component, we have a header tag that says this is the child component, a label that says enter the value, an input box to accept the value, and finally a paragraph that says value from the parent component is. So let us first see how to pass data from the parent to the child. So from our app component to our tutorials component. So for that, we are first going to create a new property. So public, let's say parent data, and this is a string value. Now, whenever we accept a property as an input from another component, then we need to use the inputs configuration. And within the inputs configuration, we need to specify the property. So in our case, parent data. So we are saying that we have a property called parent data that is an input to this component. So right now, this component is ready to accept an input. So let's go to our parent component, which is the app component, and send that input. So over here in our input text box, I'm going to create a reference, so hash that says p text or parent text. And I'm also going to create a dummy event. So key up is equal to zero. So what this does is it is just a dummy event that is going to trigger a UI update so that the view is refreshed every time you press a key or release a key. And now back here in our my tutorials tag or component, we are going to have property binding. So parent data is the property from the child component. And this is going to be equal to p text dot value so we have our p text or the parent text entered here we are going to access its value and then use property binding to assign it to our parent data so if we go to our tutorials component then we can use interpolation over here that says parent data now when i save this and our page is refreshed. I'm going to enter something in the parent component. So parent value or parent data. And you see here that the parent data is automatically displayed. So whatever you enter. So yep, that's working fine. So that is how you pass data from a parent component to its child component. You declare a property you say that it is an input, you use interpolation to display that input, but back in our parent component, we use a text, the input field to 
receive the text using a reference, retrieve its value and use property binding to assign it to our parent data. Now, in the same way, we need to pass tutorials component value or data something, uh, a data that is entered in our child component to our app component. But this is a bit different because over here, we had the child component over here and we could use data binding or property data binding. But in a tutorials component, we do not have the app component written or typed out anywhere. So when we are passing value in general, anything from our child component to our parent component, we need to emit an event and from the child component and our parent component is going to catch that event and retrieve the values from that event. So for this, we are going to be using output configuration. So here we are going to, let's say, we are going to name this as child event. So this child event is an event that is an output from this child component. So over here in our class, we are going to declare child event. Um, let's okay let's um i'm gonna say child event is equal to new event emitter and this is going to be of string and if you see here i have a red underline so we need to import the event emitter class so event emitter from angular core so from angular slash core okay so we have created a child event which is an instance of this emitter, event emitter class now we are going to create a reference to our input similar to the app component so over here I'm going to say hash let's call this child text and again on key up so whenever the key is released now instead of having a dummy event we're actually going to have an event handler so on change I'm going to have this child event or the child text value given so we're going to say child text dot value so whenever a key up event is triggered the value in the input text box is being sent to this event handler now over here we need to define our event handler so on change it, we are going to retrieve a value it is of type string and here we're going to say this dot child event dot emit this value so basically we are saying that we are asking the child to emit this event with value so our value is nothing but this child text dot value which is the value entered in the input box now back here in our app component over here what we can do is include event binding so child event is the name of our event and here when we catch that event to child data we are going to assign dollar event and over here we are going to create public child data of string okay so let me explain to you what is happening over here in our tutorial component we create a new event emitter instance which is child event and we say that it has an output so whenever a value is entered in our input box we are going to trigger this on change event handler and this is going to emit this event with this particular value and back over here we are going to use event binding to assign to our child data property the dollar event and the, do the dollar event is going to be nothing but the value entered over here so when we save this 
and let me also use interpolation to display so child data so let me save this let me save tutorials component when we reload it let's enter something in the parent value so parent data still working let's enter child data and there you go over here what we have entered in our child component is displayed in the parent component so that's pretty much it about inputs and outputs hope you guys and hope you guys understood and enjoyed the video so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video